Hey everyone, how's it going? Doubloon here and today's another BTD6 video. Today is going to be Infernal on Impoppable, but the daily challenge looks pretty simple and kind of fun with only two towers. So here's a screenshot of what I end with. Definitely did not start with this sniper. I went with this camo sniper, obviously, because you need to pop those camos. So I had this rocking until round 40 and then on round 40, I sold this guy and bought the top tier. And then that will definitely get you through it. You really don't even need these guys. I just had them there just in case. And then these guys kind of just rock the rest of it. So real simple solution. And I feel like you guys already got this, but because I was able to film my video earlier, I thought, hey, let's give it to you guys in case you haven't done it yet. But let's get into what we're really gonna be doing. So as I said, today's gonna be Infernal on Impoppable. I know I've already done chimps and I've already done hard, but I've been getting a ton of requests for these in the comments. Like, I thought it'd just be the one or two, but I keep continually get them, meaning that people are having a uh, tough time getting through the Impoppable to make it to chimps. Um, I personally thought chimps was a lot harder to figure out, but I think I also, Impoppable is easy to go back to because I've already done chimps, but for the most part, guys, it's gonna be pretty straightforward and easy. I am gonna use Monkey Knot just because if you guys have seen my Chimps video, you guys know that round, what is it, round six or seven is pretty difficult because you have to have Quincy and then that Dart Monkey and switch him back. Well, without Monkey Knowledge, I could not figure out a way to get that. So we're gonna use Monkey Knowledge, but um, I'm gonna use a bank and I'm gonna sell it before I get to 7,000. So I know the banks can go up to 9,500 when you have full Monkey Knowledge, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm not gonna let them get to the spikes that I have at the end, so we're not gonna worry about losing any lives. And what else can I do to make it a little easier in case you guys don't have full monkey knowledge? Um, pretty much the hero, the mana shield, we're not gonna, well, the mana shield we're not gonna really be using at all because like I said, we're not gonna lose any lives, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna use Quincy, that'll make it easier because everyone has a Quincy. And the monkey knowledge you guys have should be enough. I do have the half price military, which is gonna make my first sub half price, but $175 really isn't the most to write home about. So we should be fine. So let's jump right in there. But before we do guys, definitely hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you guys are new and wanna see more of what you're seeing now. Um, usually we do chimps and half cash and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, there's a new video. But today, like I said, we're gonna step it back to impoppable. Ignore that gold border guys. I told you I'm not doing that one again. That's gonna be my only gold border just because that thing stressed me out with that Quincy glitch a few times. So we're gonna leave it at that for a while. We'll come back to it in the future, but for now we're gold bordering guys. No worries, no worries. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing, have our Quincy here. Um, you guys might not have this, but it doesn't affect the first round, and at the second round, you'll have more than enough to grab it. So that's the only difference so far. And I do have these spikes here, right? And that's really not gonna affect anything either for you guys, because we're not gonna get to that point. And then the banks are gonna be the only tough part. I Hopefully I can remember to collect them before that 6,000 mark or 7,000, whatever it is. But I always forget, you guys know that about banks. But I figured the banks would be the best to go with on this because you only have spot for one or two. And we're only gonna use one. And so I didn't want to deal with collecting bananas the whole time. I didn't want to deal with that little bounce house one on the bottom path because I feel like he wasn't gonna give us enough money. Because we really need to make the money on this one. So, with that said, we're going to grab this advanced intel here. And if all your numbers are just a slightly bit off because you don't have that half price military, definitely let me know in the comments below. We can work out a solution, but I don't think it should affect anything. It's only $175 difference than what I have, so it sh or from what you have, so it shouldn't be any difference at all. And I try to think of all the ways I can make this like less monkey knowledge dependent. I'm not even gonna use my free dart monkey. I'm pretty sure most of you have that one, but I'm not even gonna use it. We don't need that. And what else can we do here? But Let's just keep on trucking with this. We're gonna get our twin guns, guys. And then after our twin guns, we're going to grab a banana farm. And, and we're just gonna let that one. See what I was doing, because I have the spikes and the mana shield, I was getting up to a second tier banana farm and then buying my airburst. But we're gonna buy our banana farm and then buy the airburst right away, just so we don't lose any lives. We can make sure it's pretty easy. And then also guys, you guys know that you do have your Quincy's first ability, which you might want to use on probably the first time you get, you're going to use it for sure is 36, just to make sure that everything is good to go. Cause you know how 36 has those three pink rushes and that last one gets a little hectic. So we'll see what happens guys. But so just woke up about maybe 40 minutes ago, watched some YouTube videos, jump in the shower, put on my nerd shirt. Got work today, so gonna try to get this done in the morning, which is cool. I was, these are my favorites when I can knock them out in the morning because then 
I can edit it either when I get home or right after this, and then I can upload it to YouTube before I leave is the best case scenario. And then by the time I get home, I hit publish and it's really cool. And it keeps me, keeps me ready to go because tonight is the stream guys. And if you haven't yet follow on Twitch guys, because the streams are every Wednesday and Sunday for balloons and Thursdays, Minecraft. And it's really exciting. At least I think it is because Wednesdays get pretty crazy and Sundays are super crazy. And all you guys get in there. We play some co-op. We have a good time. Uh, we try not to lose, but the gameplay is not the same as on here because on here I have these things, you know, not mastered. I don't want to say that, but I have them pretty much set in stone of what I'm going to do. And when you're playing on co-op with other people, you got to merge other people's strategies and you also have to, it's just a lot of different stuff going into it. So we try not to lose, but we lose and it happens and then we'll use powers and continues and it turns into this crazy craziness going on, but we'll make it happen. And hopefully you guys want to join and see that. So definitely hit that link below for that Twitch. Um, okay, so we have our banana farm. You can get a monkey farmer. That's what I do when I'm playing by myself. But just for this video, I don't want you guys to think that it requires a monkey farmer. So I'm not going to get one. And the next thing we're going to do here is actually grab a sniper. Because I forget every time. We don't need it because Quincy has that. Um, what does he have? Quincy has that ability to every third shot's a bomb, but in case you guys don't have that, we're gonna make sure we get something to clean this up with. Um, this is pretty simple actually. So I don't know why, but I was like, why is this so much easier than it was the first time? And I think it's just because I went back and played it after beating chimps, but it's like, it's not that difficult. You'll see guys, we're just gonna do a couple buying and selling and waiting for the money and the the hardest parts gonna be waiting for this monkey farm to work is my, in my opinion. But well, also guys, what's gonna happen is you guys can um, kind of just, if you have the upgraded banana farm monkey knowledge to where it allows you to go to 9,500, definitely wait it out because worth the wait. Um, I noticed a significant difference in my, like when I buy and they sell these things because I only have 7,000. Like it doesn't seem like it's much, but it's enough to mess some things up, but we'll make it pretty easy hopefully here. Um, next, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab this guy. Um, should I? Yeah, we're gonna grab this guy before this guy. Now we're gonna get the 3960 for that monkey bank. I just wanted to make sure we had enough popping power, which we do. Um, 36 is coming, so we might have to use his first ability on that last rush. We'll play it by ear. I mean, his range is pretty decent, especially with that starting off at level three. So now he's already what, level eight, which is pretty cool. So if you guys don't have that one, if you haven't seen my really old outdated monkey knowledge video, they've changed it since then, obviously with their new monkey knowledge requirements, spending like monkey money and I'm saying monkey a lot, but um, I always go, not always, but I respect a couple times and I like to go with, let me watch this rush real quick. Um, I like to go with the hero one first, the free dart monkey one and the mana shield are my favorites to go with. And then at fourth, I would definitely go that military half price because that thing's awesome. Um, 36 was pretty easy, but remember you do have your ability if you need it. So yeah, I'm going to do another monkey knowledge video because they've updated it, but then I'm going to have to respect, which means I'm going to have to blow a lot of money, but I have like 60,000 something and I don't really do races. As you guys can see in my last video, I'm not that great at them. And so I think that'd be kind of cool just to show you guys like a new updated version because I don't want you guys to buy the wrong things or wonder why you're not beating these because you don't have the same stuff. And a lot of them do affect it. Like I think I have one that makes the Moab um, like less health when you go to kill it, which is completely different. And are we going to have enough for this thing before that? I think we will. We need this for this for round 40. And that's exactly what I was talking about this last one. So I have something that makes them a lot less health. And I'm assuming you guys probably do at this point. If you're playing on expert maps, you have most, if not all of your monkey knowledge, which means you have that one. But in case you don't, this thing will knock it out pretty easily. And then you can use your ability to clean it up if you need to. Um, I think we're going to do that for sure. And then remember to watch your monkey banks because we're going to sell them around 7,000, but you guys should sell them around 9,500. Okay, so we're going to um, not auto start this one because I don't want to not pay attention. So, okay, as soon as he gets in range, we'll drop this thing. There we go. Help him pop it and then he'll help clean up the rest. So you guys should be totally fine with that. As you see, we had all this room to kill and he still has his ability. So you would have been fine with or without that monkey knowledge, I believe. And let's just keep on going, guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're not... Oh yeah, we are. I was gonna say we're not gonna do anything. Um, one time I actually did try to buy another banana farm, but by the time I got it to where I needed to upgrade to the to the mage, like the 10K mage, it ended up being to where I only made an extra $200 from having the farm. I was like, yeah, it's not worth the work. 
so we're not doing that again uh, we have this guy here we're chilling and then when we go to sell this at 7,000, we'll have enough to buy the 10,000, which will get us through 50 and beyond. And then we'll grab an Alchemist, and then we'll grab an Archmage, and then we'll grab an Apache Prime. And I am going to use some of the same aspects from the Chimps video as far as like 76 and 78 with Quincy's ability. So we're going to have to rely on this guy to not mess it up like he did in the Chimps video. But we can just hit home screen because this is impoppable, not Chimp. So it doesn't matter for that black border, in which I don't have anyway. But um, this is going to be pretty, pretty simple. We're just going to use a little bit of stuff. I'll make you try a little bit hard for it because how I do these, and I'd like to show you guys a video on that. It'd be kind of fun. But um, let's see, are we going to pop all these? Yes, we will. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to collect. See, I have $700 over. So if you guys don't have that, I understand. But we still have way more than enough for this arcane spike. So you're fine. Um, now what I'm going to do here, guys, is grab the Alchemist right away, and I'm going to make it so he can touch that top path. He'll help out a little bit up there. Can't touch both paths, so we'll just get the top. And look how much everything costs on Impopable. That's the problem. It's just so much money. And so that's why we're using the bank to not only offset, but to give us a lot more money. So he's collected 10000 but what did we spend? Four, we only spent like six or 7000 So we've made 4000 profit around there, which is pretty cool, and gets us through what we're about to do here. So we're going to rock this one all the way to like 60. Should I just do it on 69 or 61? No, I'm thinking 59 or 61. But we can do, yeah, whatever. We just have to have the Archmage by 63. And even then it gets a little rough. You guys will see, but we'll have his ability just in case. Um, nine times out of 10, the Archmage handles 63 just fine. But I've noticed when I have it on fast, it doesn't like to do that. But eh, we'll get there. And then what was I talking about before that though? Totally forgot what I was mentioning, but I don't remember guys. Let's go. Let's keep going with what we're doing here. So we have this round 52. This guy is more than enough to get through, especially with the alchemist, which is awesome. And then we have 2,800 here and this should be pretty simple from here on out. We'll try to keep this guy as long as we can. We might have to sell him later, but the Archmage, the reason I go with him is just because He's just so simple guys like I put him up here so not only does it give more range to this guy but he just pops everything and he can see camo so it just helps out which like I said it makes this guy see camo now and he has armor piercing which is awesome he has 15,000 pops right now and this guy has already caught up and beat him of course but um, I just love the mage and he's so versatile so I wish I would have used him in chimps but Chimps was like pretty straightforward. You had to have enough money for this, enough money for that. This we're going to have like extra money left over to make this even easier. But we'll just keep on going with it. And we don't have anywhere near enough money for our Archmage. That is or our, yeah. I don't know what, what did I do differently? Did I do anything differently? I don't know, but we need to sell this though. We're at that 8,000 mark. Um, Maybe it's just because we're not, we're just not there yet, but maybe I'll have to sell my alchemist. I don't know. Oh no, no, no. That's what it was. I collected the bank again. I was like wondering why am I so far off? We have nowhere near enough money for this guy. Um, okay. So I'm going to get ready here. I'm going to keep, I'm going to put him on strong just because we know that ability doesn't work half the time. So I'm going to leave him on strong and then we're going to kind of use him here. Um, I'm going to use his ability just in case. Yeah, I didn't want to mess up here, and that's where we're at. So I think he would have been just fine, but I don't want to mess up. Um, on 62 and a half, we'll have to do some stuff here. Oof, this is scary stuff. All right, so we're going to turn off this auto start for Get Ready for at 63. You can see it in my voice. Getting a little nervous here. Hopefully, we'll have enough money for everything. Um, I think what we might have to do... See, oh, that's why, because if you have the 9,500, this thing's super easy. But when you don't have 9,500 and you only have 7,000, it totally doesn't make it easy because it's extra money there. So we're going to collect what we have and it's not going to be enough. So we're going to have to eat that first wave with our ability. Guys, this is going to be a little tough, but we can do it. I, I believe in us. You ready? Okay. Slow it down. Don't get crazy. Hit that ability. Okay. So now we have enough. We don't have enough. Ooh, that's not cool. Probably gonna die right now, guys, just to be honest. Let's do this. Sell this guy, buy the Archmage, guys. It's more important. And I'm gonna use Quincy's ability too because the Archmage isn't ready yet. He's not built up his powers. Okay, cool. So why I did that was, I feel like the Archmage isn't Alchemist enough. He's not ready, he hasn't been in the game long enough, so he wasn't strong enough. But now on this one, I feel like it's gonna be super easy and we'll take it out with no problems. We have to because we don't have any other choice, to be honest, at this point. 
So let's hope that our guy can do it, and he did. So who knows why the second one was about to get through and the first one wasn't. I think it's because, like I said, he wasn't in the game long enough, so he wasn't he wasn't warmed up. But we're good now. Um, selling the sniper that early is kind of a bummer, but we gotta do what you gotta do so you don't lose. And now the next thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're not gonna buy or sell or do anything besides collect this around um we're gonna keep collecting it as it comes up but we're gonna rock this all the way to 80. i think we're gonna take out the zomg or the zomga we're gonna take that out with what we have here and then at that round after 80 we're gonna sell every single thing not every single thing we're gonna collect our bank one last time sell the bank and then we're going to buy an apache and then let him kind of like build up on his own with no banks or nothing but i think we should be fine if we do this right we should have like 60 grand by that time and it'll be enough to hold us over for a little bit oh, guys this is crazy stuff crazy stuff mm, let me see here should we just skip ahead yes so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna skip ahead but just so you know guys um i'll skip ahead to 76 because that's where we're gonna use that first ability so you guys can keep up with that and then i am gonna collect at 7,000. you guys obviously collect at 9500 let's go from there the dreaded 76 hopefully we can just use the ability and it works unfortunately the archmage i mean i'm pretty proud of him he has really very little range on this map as far as where he can hit and he's doing pretty solid so i mean a probably a safer spot would have been to put him up here but i like the risk and i like that he's up front being our forerunner and he speeds up these rounds make the map quicker it's only at 20 minutes so far usually this would be at like 25 by now so this is pretty cool um we are going to use that ability like i said because i don't think he can hang I don't want to test it we don't need to and you're going to have to do the same exact thing in 78 and you're going to have to do the same exact thing on the chimps video that i have so hopefully you guys are sticking with me so far and hopefully you guys are able to use this on your chimps video or your chimps video for this and then you guys can get the chimps because the problem is that if you guys are all having the same problem and there's so many of you that have not beaten palpable you haven't even been able to beat chimps yet right and so that's kind of a bummer so hopefully this works definitely let me know in the comments below if it did and if it didn't why not is it because i'm curious to know because i've had the monkey knowledge for so long that i don't know exactly the details of each one and i just turn it on or i turn it off and so there might be one that's like drastically affecting this gameplay and that was my bad we might have a problem now ah oh, shoot might have to like restart this round to be honest i was talking through it and the problem is is that when you pull the cord on that one too late, by the time it comes back, it's like all the way down here. Um, maybe not, but we'll see. Eef. I always mess these things up, man. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to like time this one perfectly. He's not good at popping purples, is he? That's not cool. Okay, so this thing's gonna come out like right about now and we're gonna have, oh no, cool, we're good, we're good. So as soon as this thing pops out, I'm taking it just cause I don't wanna deal with it getting closer to him. So we'll just knock this thing out right now. There we go. So at 78, you're gonna have to do the same thing in chimps. But as you guys can see, we still have all of our spikes. Our mana shield hasn't gone down at all. So this is no lives lost. So you guys still have your mana shield and you might have the spikes too. If you So if you lose a couple lives, it's not a big deal. Um, so can we take down 79 with this? I think we can. Okay, so we're gonna collect whatever we can after 80. I'm gonna risk it right now, guys. I know I shouldn't, every time I risk it, I usually have problems on video. I, on When I'm playing by myself, it's fine. Oh, that's what I was talking about earlier and I forgot what I was talking about. So I like to, when I'm doing this by myself, no videos, nothing like that. I'm just trying to get through it. I'm just going for the fastest strategy possible. Just something to get me through so I can start working on that chimps for you guys. So that's why I put the Archmage here and that's why we go with an Apache Prime, make it simple. And I just attack, attack, attack. So with that said, like I wait everything out until the least possible second in Challenge Editor and then try it out again to make sure it's just super quick. And Challenge Editor definitely, I tell you guys all the time, I preach about it, but you guys need to use it. It speeds up your gameplay drastically because think about having to, like how many times have you gone to punch the home screen button with your thumb and it doesn't work, right? Because you're like, you missed it by an inch or your finger's a little wet or whatever's going on and then boom, you miss it. Now you have to start all over on 80, which is kind of hectic. So. Um, long story short about that guys definitely use challenge editor and i just like to knock these things out so one of these days i'm gonna do like a compilation video where i just show you how to run through and blackboard or a map so you can just do it quickly um i am gonna use this ability like i was saying just to look at him go he's a monster okay so i did have to use my ability and it still did take out my spike so um for you guys 
I knew there was something I forgot there. So for you guys, definitely use your second ability way before that. Like use it right here. I just thought, I thought sometime at one point I did it without any of those problems, but that clearly never happened. So we're going to do it like this and then sell this guy. Um, I'm 2000 shorter than I was before. So we might have a problem later on. I don't know what I did. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab a village and we're gonna put the village here. And I like to set the placeholder because I am gonna use the village. Um, probably, honestly, I shouldn't. Well, we'll see what happens here. Let's just do it like this. We'll go this one. Come on here. Oh my God, I could do a three hour, a three hour video of me placing towers. We're gonna go all the way up here and we're gonna go faster firing. And then we're gonna grab an alchemist just because we know we're gonna need it later. So let's just get it now. But on challenge editors, just so you guys know how that works, is that I wouldn't, I didn't get this guy. I waited until the very, very, very last minute. I died and I was like, hmm, does that change the gameplay on that last level? And it did. So then I was like, well, now I notice to get it right away because it doesn't do any difference of waiting for it. Um, I am going to, you know, I'm not, I'm not, honestly. Last time, see, this is where I do, this is where my, my fatal mistake that I make every time I make a video. It worked before, but I'm like, yeah, I think I can make it better. So I do try to, and then I fail. So last time I upgraded this one and I upgraded, um, what was it? Oh, I upgraded him to camo and the top path. That's like four or five grand, almost six grand. And then I'm like pushing it to try to get the Apache Prime. So I figure, hey, let's get the Apache Prime first, then upgrade this stuff. Problem being is we're gonna have only camo is gonna be this guy and the Archmage. They've been doing pretty fine so far, so I think they should be able to keep it going. But I don't know, guys. But remember, we do have um, our guy's ability here and we're gonna have to use the ability. So hopefully I can watch the screen and talk to you guys because I don't remember exactly which rounds. I'm just gonna kind of wing it as it comes out. I remember it's up here. So it's gonna be an odd number round. I think it was like something to do with fortifieds. But as, of course, after we get the Apache, we're gonna be chilling and we're also gonna sell him to get the Apache. So that'll make it a little easier because we need 54,000 and he's worth 5,600. So we're gonna sell this at what, 49? So we're almost there, guys. We will have him pretty soon. Hopefully it won't get us killed. And guys, another announcement I'm so, so, so excited about. I told you guys I was getting a new, um, oh my gosh, see what I mean here? Look at this, that's ugly. Um, I think we can take this guy out though, right? Maybe if all hands are on deck. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good? Okay, cool. Um, so I told you I was getting a new camera and it finally came, I told you guys that I think, and I couldn't get it to hook up to my computer because you need like an Elgato cam link, but I already have an Elgato and I was like, I just spent like money on that a couple of years ago. I don't want to have to buy a cam link too. It just seems like the same product, it should work. Sure enough, it worked. And the only problem is with the Canon M50, the uh, camera I got, I love this camera. It's amazingly better than my Nikon Dirty D3300 I've been using since I was like 20 something for real estate and stuff, right? But the problem is it doesn't have like a natural clean HDMI. You kind of have to work around. So anyways, I plugged it in last night, got it to hook up, the computer registered it, but it still has like the, if you guys ever mess around with like digital cameras or anything, there's, you know, the stuff in the window, like the hub of what you're shooting at your ISO, things like that but I can't get it to go away yet. I have to watch some more videos, but just to let you guys know, like, oh my gosh, I plugged it in just to see what it looks like. And this video is night and day. Like with this one, you can see I have a shiny red nose and everything. I am gonna use this ability to help clean this stuff up here. We might have to use a second ability. I'm not exactly sure. Um, are we good here? Are we good? Are we good? Cool, cool, cool. Quincy just came in clutch on that one. So definitely keep him on. Okay, cool. We're good there. So I am going to, I don't know, if I sell him, will it be enough? I don't feel like doing math in my head, so we're just gonna have to hope for it. Cool, all right. And now we're good there, so I'm just gonna start upgrading this stuff to camo first, do the camo first, because we don't know what's coming here. I know, I don't even remember guys, but we'll be okay. But anyways, so um, I plugged it in, and so like, you guys see like, the shiny red nose and sometimes I look like I was playing in some clay before because it's just all like pasty and stuff and that's I thought it was my lights being cheap so you know I upgraded my lights and it wasn't the case it was just you know the webcam has a tiny tiny little sensor and a tiny tiny little lens well my my DSL or not DSLR I gotta get used to saying mirrorless but um this guy, this cool little homie here, has you know a regular lens and it's bigger, wider, has better aperture opening and things like that. And so I feel like, it was not feel like it, it is. It's just, even though they're both 1080p, it's 
Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I didn't even have to turn on my lights and it looked better than my webcam. I am so stoked. So you guys finally, like, you guys won't really care because it's not going to change the gameplay. But for me, having to adjust this every single time I sign on and it's still not looking where I want it to, I am so stoked. So, so, so stoked. So, guys, um, soon enough, hopefully, I was going to say about, like, Friday's video or the stream, but I honestly don't know. These things, every time I add a new aspect to my lineup of gear, it takes 10 years to figure it out, honestly. So, we'll get there. But in the meantime, I'm pretty excited. Um, what I'm going to do first, guys, is I'm going to grab a Shattering Shells just because it makes the game so much easier. Um, and then we're going to grab some other things. But for now, it's Shattering Shells. Um, what's the really hard round? I think it's like 989. No, 99. 99. Did I forget these things? You'd think I would know after all this time, but I'm just so stoked. Now I'm all in my head about this this camera. It's pretty cool. And then if you didn't notice, the little nerd advice on top is a microphone. So it has an external microphone hookup, which I'm pretty excited about. So now like, I can do like different, I'm gonna start the videos off over here, then move them over there. And I'm just like, I'm so hyped right now, guys. It's gonna be so much cooler. And since I'll be like working from home now, I can like make these videos so much more personalized and how I want them to be. And I can finally respond to comments. So guys, this will just turn into a great week and day and everything like that. Um, are we gonna be fine here? We will be, cause this guy's a monster, which is awesome. What we're gonna do though is this auto starts off. So remember guys, we do have this guy. We did the same thing in chimps. We're gonna have to change his path every time, every round, which isn't that big of a deal. Usually I stress about these things, but if you guys see the upcoming video for Raked and what we're gonna have to do there, you guys will not be bothered at all, I promise, because that one's gonna take more work. All right, so we're gonna do this one. And next thing I wanna do, do I want to do that or I wanna do this? I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna grab this Sabotage first. Also gives more range. Oh no, I was gonna say more range of the sub, but what sub? He's gone. All right, so we're gonna grab this guy first because we're gonna need him on 99 and I will forget about it. So we'll keep that in mind. And then what we're going to do is, yeah, let's let's grab a village for this guy. I feel like he wants his little speed boost. Not much, but it gives him more range, more speed. You can't complain. Now look at him. Woo. Okay. And what else do we got here, guys? I think that's it. That's all I really want to do with here. I think we're good. Did I miss anything? We got two alchemists, 402. Uh, this village has camo. This one does not. And honestly, I don't know if the difference is that much to where faster firing is worth is worth the extra 4,000 for this camo or whatever it is after you buy everything, but um, it seems to be pretty cool, so we'll go there. Did I upgrade? Did I change this guy's targeting yet? Oh, that's gonna be a bummer. Um, let's see if I did. Cool, I did. All right, so this one will be on our own. We don't really need to worry about it. I think Apache Prime can handle it. If not, we have Quincy's. I'm gonna use Quincy, guys. I don't trust him. I don't trust Apache. It's only worth a million dollars. Okay, so we're gonna change this guy's targeting back. And then this guy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a sub. Um, you don't have to, I just like to. You know, sub's the easiest way to take down the big guy at the end, so we're gonna do it that way. Um, watch 98 though. So this is why Shattering Shells is just so nice. It's it's worth the money, it's a lot of money, but it's worth it for one purpose only, it's just for this. Because without it, all these things would be fortified and they'd already be around this corner, but we're taking it out like 98's like 76 or something, you know? It's just simp super simple and he kept everything at the front, you can't complain. Okay, so for 99, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna change this guy's targeting back. You you need to sabotage as soon, as soon as those DDTs come out, all right? So we're gonna put it on slow here, and then as soon as they come out, we're going to attack it. So boom, right there. Because if not, our Mr. Apache Prime's, you know, gonna not really do his job okay. We're gonna actually faster firing these things, to, or whatever Quincy's ability is called. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to sell this guy now, we don't need it, and we're going to get this guy up. Okay, now we're going to, oh, I forgot to change this guy's targeting. We're gonna change his targeting so we can burn him a little better, I guess. And then, um, let's move it again. <laughs> Here we go, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I just, Shattering Shells is like one purpose for me, and it's just that, 98. It's like for 98. But um, we have the first strike, so I'm gonna try to time it right, and if I don't, doesn't matter. We still have an Apache Prime, and we have our abilities. I'm gonna use Quincy's ability to clean up even better. Look at that thing, oh my gosh. Okay, and remember, guys, so, either count the mortar shells or this guy's shells. We just wait for three, and we already got like 14 of them, so there you go. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Oh, that was a bummer. 
Okay, so usually I count till three of these first strikes, and I guess I didn't. I thought I counted four, but I was mixing them up, I guess, between the mortars and stuff like that. So we're just gonna use our ability as soon as this guy turns into Moabs, and we'll do that right now. And that was super simple. But I apologize for that timing on that first strike. I thought I was so cool. I was like, oh, just uh, wait till number three and then hit the button. And then I'll, sure enough, I didn't do it right. So that's cool. But guys, we did it. We got $264. Um, you guys may have gotten like, what, 250 or 200 if you don't have that monkey knowledge upgrade, which gives you more money. And then also, but you guys should have done it. Should have been just fine. So this is the end result. And I think it was pretty simple, a lot simpler than chimps, and we didn't have to home screen. It was all one run through. So if there was a black border for impoppable, we did it. But guys, this is only at 33 minutes, and then I get to cut some out. So this is cool, keeping an impoppable around 100 under that time, which is pretty awesome. But it took a lot less work than chimps too. So guys, if you guys liked what you saw, definitely hit the button below. Hit that like button below. And if you're new, consider subscribing. There's a lot more of this stuff where it came from, and then I make a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then also I stream on Wednesdays and Sundays. And then also guys, 10K looks like it's coming up real soon here. We only need like 100 or less. I, I think it's like around 100, which is insanity. You guys know this. So definitely jump in that Discord and give away those or give a question out. So there's the Q&A thing at the very, very bottom of Discord, which I am gonna answer personal and Bloons related questions for the 10,000 special. It's at the very, yeah, I'm gonna answer all these questions. It's gonna be really exciting for me at least. And if you guys are into that, definitely leave a question. If not, totally understand, but it's gonna be kind of fun. And then also guys, um, what was the last thing I was gonna say? Let me know below. I'm not giving out a word of a day here. I just wanna know if you guys were able to use this to all of those of you who have requested this map, did this help you? Or was it too much because you don't have enough monkey knowledge? I tried to clean up as much as I could for that, but things always happen. So let me know below if this was useful. If not, let me know as well. And then also let me know what you guys want to see next time. But in the meantime, guys, thank you. Definitely check out that live stream tonight. It is going to be like right after this thing's uploaded. So I will see you guys soon.